3rd of May every year, the World Max World Press Freedom Day, to celebrate the milestones made in the profession, several scribes met to celebrate the day with police brutality and government censorship taking the day in the meetings. However, corruption among journalists has largely been condemned, as Musa Salah now tells us. Freedom. No. Freedom. Journalists across the country joined the world in marking World Press Freedom Day on Monday to celebrate the milestones achieved by the media. With information as a public good as this year's theme, journalists in Bongoma celebrated the day at Kandoi Children's Home, where they donated food stuff. Home Administrator Alice Kimotho commended scribes for their role in the society, calling on the government to allow the press to inform, educate and entertain freely and independently. Muna tuelimisha mambo mingi kuhusu maisha yetu na pia tena muna tu entertain. Without you atujui vila tungekua tunaka. According to the 2019 World Press Freedom Index, Kenya was ranked position 100 out of 180. The freedom of the Kenyan press featuring in most of the events to mark the day. Sisi, tunafanya kasi tu ya kumulika the society, yaani jami, na kuwapasha mbari ambasu natendeka. Sisi atuna ubaya wa mtu yoyote na iwapo iwapo wewe umelengwa na ni ukweli kubali aishe usipange pengine tudhulumiwe kwa njia moja ama nyingine kama mauaji mimi ni mmoja wa wale manusura ya nyumba ya mateso inaitwa nyao house nilikuwa kwa miaka ya 80s 87 nikashikwa na ndio unaona hata meno hakuna ili baki huko na ninaona na, ninaenda na mkongojo na si ati ni uzee hii ni kunyanyaswa kudhulumiwa Kufanyiwa unyama, sababu serikali ya siku zile haikuwa inataka ukweli. Ilikuwa inataka ikisema hakuna jaa, unalipoti hakuna jaa. However, journalists received their fair share of criticism for their involvement in corruption that mostly clouds their objectivity in pursuit of news stories. National Assembly Speaker Justin Muturi has however cited the low pay given to journalists as the root cause, further asking media owners to consider revising the salaries of their employees. Wanabari walikuwa na sande na principles zao ya kwamba ni lazima waendiocate, wasomeshe na waentateni. Iyo mambo hile the three principles ya, ya utangazaje ni lazima kila wakati hii wapo. Kama wewe ujapitia Kenya is so mass communication. Sababu siku zile ndiyo, iyo peke ndiyo ilikuwa inaturainu wanabari. Hunge pata iyo, 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 nini, iyo uh, press card. Lakini sasa, mtu, kama mimi sasa niseme ni meanza media house yangu, utaona ni napereka list kwa media kanzo, ati watu wangu diyo hawa. Na hata wapigu darubini na media kanzo, diyo iyo nekweli kama wanatosha. So, shida iko hapo. For this conversation to make sense, today is my day to ask the media owners in this country to pay our children they are reporters and news crew very well. They deserve it. These people go to every length to get us the story. Musa Salah TV 47.